like thick May gray already in April. Yeah, oh yeah, Saturday was really nice. And then yesterday, all of a sudden, the marine layer crept on in and it didn't go away. That was pretty much what our Sunday entailed. And this morning will be pretty comparable. So the first half of the day, it's looking like mostly cloudy. And then we'll have some partial clearing. All right, the time is 516. Let's go ahead and start things off from our POE sky cam looking at the downtown skyline. The water looking pretty gap. Uh, glass like indicating some pretty calm winds out there. Current temperatures right now we're waking up a little mild in downtown close to 60 degrees at 56. Meanwhile, low 50s for Kearney Mesa, El Cajon and Ramona 55 currently in the Oceanside area. Quick look at the inland hour by hour. As I mentioned, uh, looks like the first half of the day will be mostly cloudy and then we'll see some partial clearing later on this afternoon. Inland areas will top out in the mid to upper 60s, but some areas like Escondido, Poway, Ramona could very we will get to 70 degrees later on today. So it looks like winds are relatively calm west of the mountain areas. We will see winds really pick up though for the mountains and deserts later on this evening. Notice that color contour. So we're in the blue and green, meaning that we'll have sustained winds anywhere from 5 15 miles per hour for the coast and valleys. But then as you move east, we have those purple reddish colors indicating that we'll have some strong gusty winds, especially for the mountains, foothill and desert areas. So that is why the National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory. This takes place at 3 p.m. lasting through Wednesday. We'll have sustained winds out of the west up to 35 miles per hour with isolated gusts anywhere from 50 to 60 miles per hour. So although we're not expecting any showers rain, the biggest threat is going to be those winds, those gusty winds for the mountains and deserts, not only tonight, but for tomorrow night as well. So it looks like we'll stay cool for the first half of the week. We'll be in the mid to low 60s for the beaches. And then as we look ahead to the second half of the week, we'll have high pressure redevelop. That'll do a couple things. It'll clear things out and it'll bump up temperatures pretty significantly. We're talking about jumping from the 60s all the way to the 80s by Friday for the valley areas, and that's going to hold tight through the weekend. So if you have any plans this weekend, maybe you have guests in town, it's going to be really nice. We're going to be about 5 to 10 degrees above average. The mountain areas will be in the low 60s. We'll shave off a few degrees tomorrow and Wednesday. And then we'll also climb there as well. We'll go from the 60s on Thursday, 70s by Friday. The deserts, meanwhile, this afternoon will be in the 90s. And then we'll dip about 5 to 10 degrees tomorrow and Wednesday as we'll have that onshore flow really strengthen. And then high pressure redevelops there, bringing us back to the mid 90s by the latter part of the work week into the weekend. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and toss it over to Officer Mark.